So I just sit right here? Uh, yeah. Cool. And I'm, uh, I'm talking into the boom? Yes, into the boom. You, you guys gonna get lobs for like the interview? No. So sorry, no, your movie, I'm sorry, not mine. Yeah, um, uh, yeah my bad. Okay. Um, okay, so then look at the camera or I look at you? Look at me. I look at you. Yes. You, so, but they know that you're, cause like Barry Jenkins is the whole thing where they care just like look right at the lens and it's very, so I'm sorry, your movie, your no, movie, no, it's okay, your movie. Yeah. No, that's, um, that's Barry's. No, your movie, just, uh, so just, just go. Um, uh, my name is Oliver Fendersplüten. I am the writer and director of Onsen. And action. Cinema is my passion. Yes. I've yes. always known I was a storyteller. It was just something about the visual medium that made me gravitate towards it. You can reach the high echelons of like upper artistry while also reaching the masses, reaching the people. It's the most collaborative art form. Uh, while I did write and direct it and you know, kind of pull the vision together um, all by myself, I couldn't have done it without the help of my wonderful crew. He sucks. I mean, yeah, Oliver can be kind of harsh. He just doesn't understand art. I can't wait for this production to be over, honestly. You just kind of have to go along with him, you know, put up with it. Yeah, he's kind of the worst. Oliver just has these like huge visions. I mean, ridiculous visions, really. Win, just jump, you'll be fine. We need a shot. Uh, what's my motivation? Your stepmom stole your step hamper, don't you remember? No. I met Oliver the first week of school. Uh, we were in the dining hall, he was eating alone, and so was I. I mean, you know how freshman year is. I like working the mic. I'm good at it. Uh, it makes me feel like I'm in control. I mean, sound is the most important part of a movie. If the sound's bad, then the movie's gonna be bad. Plus, I get to keep an eye on Oliver. Make sure he doesn't explode. I don't even know why I said that I'd produce it. Okay, well, I said that I'd produce it because I know that I'm the only one that can. That can, like, handle him, I guess. All of the crazy shit. Yeah, a lot of the times, I don't even know what I'm producing. So you'll be laying down. Now? Yeah, now, like, lay down, get hit by the car, and it's gonna be here, and... Uh, can you actually look more in pain? Like, like, you just get hit by a car, so it's painful. Yeah, okay, that's, sure, that's fine. Um, do you have the dog? What dog? The dog for the car. What are you talking about? The dog that's going to drive the car. You never asked me to get a dog. I asked you to get a dog for the car, to drive no, the you car. you didn't. The what? car dog. I put that on the list, the car dog. You wanted, like, a real dog? To drive the car, yes. Have like a breed in mind? They're always asking me questions about the script and I've tried to explain it to them. So at its core, this is a horror film, right? But in like a Neil Lovecraftian sort of way. But what's interesting is that I wrote it as a rom-com and I'm taking elements of like Duganian humor and some like lynchist absurdism, kind of mixing it all in. Um, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but I do think it's very impressive. Think, okay, so think like Soderbergh meets closely watched trains with like a little bit of Lucretia Martel sprinkled on for good measure. It's good. Okay, so I know you approve. He changes the script like, like every day. Jeannie's pissed about it, and I think the association is even more upset. And it's gonna be totally fine. This is gonna go through. Like it's I haven't really done much film acting, but I kind of feel like I'm killing this role. As a drama major, I like learning all the new lines, but you know, it can be kind of hard sometimes. Yeah. Being the lead actress can be pretty demanding, especially on a student film. What time is it? Oh, oh it's. Like... Where have you been? Your call time was three minutes ago. I, I had an exam. Oh, you had an exam, Gwen. What do we say that you're gonna do the next time you had an exam? I'm, I'm gonna. Skip you're going it. to skip it. Don't make promises you can't keep. We cannot stay a member of this production. It's getting ridiculous. 
The things he expects us to do are completely unfeasible, and the time he expects us to spend on this, it's, it's like he thinks we don't have lives outside of his film. Can we get this from there? From where? From the sky? No. No! Look, I, I know I do photography, and I get that video is completely different. I'm learning, but he thinks he knows everything, and he really doesn't. Can we make this brighter? No. I need this to be brighter. I, I can't so. make it any brighter. You can. I, no, I can't. I really can't. Oh my God. Be my I mean, guest. You're just on the wrong. Mm -hmm. You just have to change it to balance. Um. Okay, so I don't think we can make this any brighter. It's so confusing. I mean, do you even know what this film is about? No, none of us do. It's mental masturbation like you've never seen. It's like this guy loves to show off that he knows anything about anything in film. Um, what is this? That's, that's a reverse jib crab shot. Oliver, I don't think that exists. No, it totally exists. It's like when you, okay, so you know, we've got like a crab shot and then it's on a, on a jib and then we'll, we're gonna reverse it is what that is. Yeah, no, that's not a thing. No, it's totally real. I'll Google it. It's to, no, don't, you don't need to look it up. It's totally real. Cassie Vettis did it once or twice and it looked really good when he, I, we can pull it off. Yeah, I'm not seeing this. It's not real. But I can call it over the shoulder. I you can call it... Yeah, no. Yeah, fine. If that makes more sense to you, sure. Oh yeah, I think Oliver's the greatest. I mean, I want to be a director myself one day, but for now, I'm just an assistant director, which was really nice of him, uh, and I'm just trying to learn as much as I can. Good. I think they're all uh, really helpful, you know. Land a tear on the page. That'd be a little louder tears, oh, louder. Uh, Stevie, bud, you, you're in frame. Can you? Oh yes. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, a little more. L little more. Stevie, just go that way. Five big steps. Keep little more. Little more. No, no, like, no. Okay. No, big, yeah, big, 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 don't right, say. You, you got it. You got it, bud. Louder tears. <laughs> Cut! No, I need you to be angry, not mad. If there's one thing I am right now, it's angry. Stevie! Yeah? I need a coffee. Sure! Yes, sir! I guess I'm sort of like Oliver's cleanup crew in a way. I just make sure that things actually happen. Good call it the pillow. Yeah, I feel like it looks pretty good. Yeah, no, visual works. Works well. Huh. Well, it's not quite what I had in mind, but I like the symbolism. Hey, where'd you get the costume? My roommate's a furry. Alright, ready? And action. Action. Hey, help me out here. Do you think there's any way that we could- No. Well, I can make most things happen. I like that he's so passionate. I think it's just nice to see a person care so much about something. Got it. Even if that person can be a pretentious asshole on set. Why am I in the Carolina Film Association? Why wouldn't I be in it? We're making a freaking movie, it's awesome. I'm here because it's a place where I feel wanted. I'm here because I like to learn new skills. I'm here because this lets me express myself. I'm here because if not me, then who? I'm here because I like these people. I mean, they're my friends. I wanna see them succeed. I'm here because it's my passion. I couldn't imagine being happy doing anything else.